For just about her entire life, Rachel Maddow has been hard to miss. Whether it was the day when she was only three years old and nonchalantly picked up the newspaper and started sounding out the words, or when she was accepted as a Rhodes Scholar and dyed her buzz cut bright blue to celebrate, or as a five foot eleven adult who's happiest dressed in her favorite self described third grade boy attire of jeans, t shirt, and sneakers. She's always stood out in one way or another. But she's become most prominent for her intelligent banter and lightning-fast wit, as well as her ability to convey information to others in an entertaining way, whether she's defending her doctoral thesis, calling out a list of snow day school closings on local radio in Massachusetts, complete with sound effects, or explaining on her TV show the most plausible reasons why a certain president would be using Russian talking points during a cabinet meeting. Rachel Maddow has taken a truly unorthodox path to stardom, and she has never apologized or changed who she is to get where she is today. Indeed, in many cases, particularly concerning her sexuality, she's openly flaunted it. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. I don't make apologies for who I am, and I don't hold back, she's said. She considers herself to be an outsider, first and foremost, and this has shaped her philosophy and career like nothing else. I never feel like I fit in, and that's my superpower, she admitted. That forces me to struggle out of insecurity, which somehow results in success. I still feel like a criminal, like I've stolen some more deserving person's television show. Her reputation for over-preparation, a rarity in the world of fast-paced cable and broadcast news, is famous throughout the industry. Even when she was guest hosting for Keith Olbermann on Countdown, she'd arrive at MSNBC at 9 in the morning to prepare for a show that wouldn't air until 11 hours later. Indeed, there are many hosts who glide into the studio an hour or two before airtime, largely leaving the sausage-making to the staff. Not Rachel. I've been in the TV game a long time, and I've never seen anyone prepare like she does, said Bill Wolf, executive producer of The Rachel Maddow Show. While she loves nothing more than to impart new information or a new twist on an old topic to millions of viewers, she is a loner at heart and works best by herself behind a closed door where she can have time alone to indulge her curiosity, dig for obscure facts, and write an opening monologue that is both entertaining and informative and provides a new spin on a well-worn headline. She's also been open about her personal struggles, including the fact that she suffers from depression. I am not a model of mental health, she's admitted. And she openly acknowledges that what motivates her is the fear of failure. It's very boring and sad, but I want to convince myself that my existence matters, she said, which is hard to fathom given the years she spent as an activist fighting for people with AIDS. Rachel, as I knew her, has always been about making a contribution said Cory Booker, the former mayor of Newark, New Jersey, and now the junior senator from New Jersey, who was friends with her at Stanford and Oxford. She wanted to change the world, 